Hey guys, and good morning from a cloudy day here in Belgrade. So today's actually going to be a cool day. We're going to be going to the Yugoslavia Museum of History. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to that. But we're first going to go work out, and then afterwards we'll start to make our journey there. So guys, I'll talk to you guys here soon. Thanks for watching the video. Please give it a subscribe, and let's get started. All right guys, so workout complete. We're now um, heading to the museum. So just uh, obviously this is a museum of Yugoslavia history. Basically the country uh, before Serbia, uh, there's a country called Yugoslavia. I think it was formed end of World War I um, and then lasted up until 1992. So essentially present day, Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia, Bosnia, North Macedonia, Kosovo. Uh, these were these were all. Uh, this is what ex Yugoslavia was, and then these are all like the separate republics now. So essentially, we we're going to go there, see the museum. I believe pretty much it was a communist country uh, run by Tito, and uh, you know I was born in '91, so I remember. At least early on, um, you know, the Yugoslav Wars from 92 to 95. I kind of vaguely remember. Um, obviously, it was the heaviest warfare in Europe since World War II. You know, so I do vaguely remember essentially the war that went on. And even to this day, obviously, it can be a little bit of a sensitive subject. Uh, depending on who you're talking to. Um, because it's, you know, it's been 20 plus years, but it's still you know, not like super long ago. So it still has major effects today. So obviously it's a little bit of a sensitive history and um, including, you know, I've been here in Serbia. I went to Croatia last year. So obviously it's like something you don't really, I guess, bring up or talk about, but yeah. So we're on our way to the museum. Definitely looking forward to it. At least the weather is not rainy today, even though it is cloudy. It's not bad weather, so might as well take a walk and explore more of the city. So I'll uh, talk to you guys here shortly. Yep, guys. So it's we're walking on a new route. This um, this museum is kind of located quite not far from the city center, but if you were to take a car, it's about 14 to 15 minutes. But then again, though, it's always kind of cool when you go to um, you know explore different areas of the city outside just the main area where you're living at. Um, obviously, like depending on the country, you need to be a little bit more aware of your surroundings. But so far here in Serbia. Uh, it's pretty safe from you know my previous experience and so far so i mean it's cool to start exploring other parts of the city and kind of see more of like i guess what you call non-touristy areas so yeah i'm gonna stop by get a coffee and i'll talk to you guys here soon
All right, guys, so we're pretty much, I say we're almost there. Um, again, this is why obviously the museum is the goal itself, but half the time, what kind of makes the trip is, obviously I just explained in the previous clip where you're walking and you're kind of outside the city center, you start to see more of the city, um, typically areas where a tourist won't go to. So probably somebody would, I don't know, maybe take like a cab um, or transportation to the place. But unless it's like super far or the weather is super bad, I sometimes prefer the walk because like I said, you get to see cool, you know, other parts of the city and kind of, you know, be in areas where you would probably never explore if you were to just, you know, you're coming visiting a place for a while. So we're going to maybe make a quick pit stop because I didn't realize that the Partisan Stadium is actually on the way because I kind of see the outskirts of it. So let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, as you guys see behind me is uh, the stadium to Partisan. So I know that in Belgrade, there's two major soccer teams, one being Red Star Belgrade, the other one being Partisan, basically probably the two biggest in Serbia, and obviously they're big rivals. Um, I'm not sure which team is bigger. I think Red Star is more successful. And if I had to guess, they might be they might have the bigger fan base and uh, probably the more popular team. I don't know, anybody from Serbia, leave um, comments down below. But Partisan is obviously, you know, their big rivals. So uh, it's pretty cool that this stadium happened to be on the way. So I had to make a, uh, a quick pit stop. All right, guys, Hero's Journey is complete. So as you guys see, we have arrived um, at the museum. Uh, we'll see if they allow filming inside or taking pictures, so hopefully they do. If not, I'll try to take pictures and then I'll post them um, in this video. But yeah, it took a little bit of time, but as I said, the weather's not too bad. It's not super cold, it's not super hot, it's not rainy, so it's actually perfect weather to uh, take long walks in. So yeah guys, uh, we'll talk to you here shortly. Alright guys, so we are in. It's still Saturday, um, kind of early afternoon. I don't even think it's noon yet. So it's really not that much people here, I guess, which is a good thing. It's nice and quiet, you know, it's kind of like a, this whole area is kind of like a peaceful area. As mentioned, it's away from the city center. Um, yeah, so we'll see how the museum is. Um, heard good reviews about it. And you know, obviously I also read that uh, Tito's grave is here. Um, Tito was the leader of Yugoslavia for pretty much a majority of the time. Don't know the exact details, but yeah, so we'll kind of see how that is. history of Yugoslavia and a lot of it is dedicated to Tito, um, Joseph Tito, who's pretty much its leader um, for a majority of its time. So pretty much here, you know, showing a lot of pictures, especially about his funeral 
it was kind of cool there's a soccer ball that was signed by manchester and then as we come over here um i don't know this looks like maybe it's a portrait behind me I, mean, I don't know if this is like this desk right here if you see behind me Oh, it, it says the memorial room in the 1980s, so maybe it's like a replica of that, if you see here. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I'll talk to you here shortly. So if you guys see behind me, I believe this might be Tito's grave right here. So, obviously, this is pretty much memorial to him. Yeah, that's his, uh, that's his grave right there. So we'll see what the smaller one is right here. Joel Vick. Um, it could be his wife. I'm not too sure. Let's look at here. So I think I'm going to end it here. Um, the camera is running low on battery, but I hope you enjoyed the video. This was pretty cool. Basically, Tito is a part of, you know, major part of Serbian history, part of obviously ex-Yugoslavia. Um, so pretty much this museum was dedicated. Um, this is his burial site. So it was pretty cool to get some shots of that. Um, you know, obviously coming here, part of the journey too, as I mentioned, was pretty cool walking here. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was pretty cool. Um, visiting, you know, historic museum, um, historical figure, and kind of learning a little bit more about the, about the person and about the, you know, country as a whole. So guys, with that, um, thanks so much for watching the video. Obviously, please give it a like. Please give it a subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.